1949, Fairbanks was the center of gold mining in the state. It was gold that made Fairbanks grow into a town, and it was gold that would make a city out of it. From 1925, this company was gold mining in Fairbanks in a big way. Placer mining uses water poured over gold-bearing gravel to separate gravel and sand from the gold. For this large an operation, it took a great deal of water. The company used a complex of ditches to bring it in. Hydraulic hoses forced warm water into the frozen muck or overburden layer above the gold-bearing gravel. Sometimes the layer was 200 feet deep. It took two hours just to clear two inches. 48 hoses were needed to clear an area for one dredge. The hoses also exposed Ice Age fossils, which were given to the museum. The next layer to remove was the gravel that didn't contain gold. The drag line, the largest in Alaska at the time, scraped up 40,000 pounds to a load. The base slid on pontoons so it could move continuously. Excess gravel became the bed for the highway to Anchorage. Finally, the gold-bearing gravel had to be thawed before the dredge could go to work. Men hammered points into the ground, either by hand or by machine. The points were hollow to jet warm water into the frozen gravel. While a machine was no faster than the men, it took much less effort. The interior's frozen ground made mining exceptional. It took seven years from survey to gold bar, mostly in preparation for the dredges. Buckets of gravel went into the dredges and water and tailings went out. The dredging continued round the clock all the way down to bedrock. The machine could pivot on its shaft to maneuver to more rock. Nine months a year, dredging never stopped. Crews housed on the sites worked in three shifts. The winter freeze stopped the dredging, but workers returned in early spring, removing 15,000 tons of ice from the dredging ponds. Cleanup every couple of weeks was actually removing gold from the riffles. Gold-bearing sand remained when the gravel was washed away. It combined with mercury to form a solid amalgam. Paddling separated the amalgam from other material. The boxed amalgam was taken to town and shoveled into a retort and melting furnace. Heat separated the mercury, which distilled out as a liquid to be reused. More heat melted the gold and released impurities. Then pure liquid gold was poured into molds. In those days, it went for $35 an ounce. <laughs> 